Check this out, a 1968 Avion truck camper. Let's do it. Hey guys, I'm Mark with the Art of RVing. If you are not a sub, become a sub. And if you are a sub, thank you so much for watching. And hit us up on Instagram, the Art of RVing. And today, you know I love old. Old is gold, no painted ponies, please. So behind me, 68 Avion truck camper. Let's go through it. Okay, so here we go, the 1968 Avion truck camper. This thing is so awesome. I love the curves, of course, Airstream-ish for sure. And one of the very few truck campers ever made out of aluminum, interestingly enough. It looks as though that looks like the water heater, or what's left of it. Not much different than ours, huh? 68. And I love these windows. Looks like they open here the bottom nice oh man watertight look at that looks like the old radio antenna there hmm. this right here if i can squeeze in there this is the can you see in there that's the propane tanks and then as we cover around watch your head that's for sure this is the water fill it opens up inside like that Locks. Huh. This connection for low voltage only. Well, I don't see any low voltage on there. It looks like this is the front window on it here. And of course the classic Eagle level. Nice. I found this interesting too, what they've done here. Some kind of support for the camper itself. It has these tensioners along here. Oh, interesting. Has twin windows over here that open at the bottom. And these amazing rivets that run along. I love the curvature. There's the vent there, I'm sure. Right here. Probably the heater. Um, probably. And then down here. I saw where it said voltage here. This must be where you plug it in. I tell you, this thing is in really good shape. Here's the back of it. Beautiful door. There's the door stop here. <laughs> Low tech, you know, I love that. Backup lights, original 1968. It doesn't have the round door like the Airstream. It has just the square door on it, the screen door. That's probably where you store your stairs there, if I'm guessing. Light for outside. Your handle. And I love the Avion. Avion Coach Corporation, Benton Harbor, Michigan. And there's your state of California housing, something or another. Look at that incredible logo there. So nice. Huh. Oh man, this thing is fantastic. Alright, so what do y'all say? Let's go in and check it out. Here's the first shot of it, as soon as you open the door, what you see. I don't know if that's original floor in here or not. Now look at this wood in here. You know this is all original cabinetry. Man, this thing is tall. It's got a separate bathroom. You gotta love that. Pretty small. I love the curves in here. Really nice. Let's hop in. Okay, so here's the first look around it. When I walk in, I can hear my echo. And there, man, it's a huge bed up there. Cabinetry all around. So, wow. Cabinets. More cabinets. More cabinets. Refrigerator. Looks like your big dinette here. It's huge. Man, there's your front window. Oh my gosh, this thing has to probably be six foot three in here, six foot four. Uh, pretty cool. You know, I love old tech, man. Check out this. I love these kind of latches. 
low tech works every single time and those cabinets swing up cabinets on it boom oh something fell out look at that old towel rack nice I bet those things are original. Look at this from Maka. Huh. Double sink. Just industrial grade, man. Looks like you're at the house. You know it. The windows crank out there. You got your four burner stove here. Like residential. Nice. Let's see what's in the stove. Oh man, that stove, they're always clean. No one ever uses them, I guess. Well, oh, this is awesome. Look at this, original switches here. Oh, they probably work. Oh. Man, this is so cool. This thing, look at all those cabinets, man. One, two, three, four, five cabinets in a truck camper, wow. And then of course it's gonna curve around here on your kitchen, man. Look at all that counter space. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. I was looking at this switch here. Look at this thing. You have a toggle switch there. I'm not sure what this is. Look at the size of this bunk and those curves in there. And you got your vent right above it. Man, I didn't realize it was gonna have this much room. And then you have one, two, three, four more cabinets up here. Nah. Oh, wow. Wow, nice. Well, I'm not sure if that glass is supposed to be that color, but it is now. The sun's coming through, it's pretty. Warm light, a lot of warm colors in here. This bunk, look at that carpet. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so good. And without shaking the camera too much, see that piece right there? Interesting enough, if I can slide it. Look at this. It slides out right there. It must be something for the bed or something. It looks original. Huh. Anybody got any comments? Let me know. Down below the bed here. Oh my gosh, more cabinets, more storage, more carpet. Bring on the carpet. And over here is your gray tank. Oh, actually, your black tank. I heard 1967, there were no gray tanks, only black tanks. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong there. They just put the gray water out on the ground. So that's probably just a black tank and I thought this was interesting 68 still has a thermostat in it oh it's nice and you got your cabinetry above your refrigerator oh man you gotta check out this shelf liner that's groovy baby <laughs> oh, I just love that so much Mmm, dang, don't get any better than that. What's up in the refrigerator? Looks like a Dometic. Well, how long has that company been in business? Look at that refrigerator. It's big. Well, huh. I wonder if that's a, look at that ice maker. Yeah, that's what we called it. Y'all that remember the ice trays fit in there. Well, I bet that thing right there gets cold. It'll freeze that ice quick. Oh, nice. I don't know what this is. Oh, I can't get it open. Nice. Hmm. And then it looks as though probably a wardrobe here. Oh, it's gonna be tight here. Let me get over here on the other side. Okay, I'm on the other side of it now. Let me come down here. Look at this original hardware. How cool is that? Look at that curvature on there. It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, it works perfect. My gosh. Oh, look at that. 
Get your upper area. All that area down there. It looks like it just continues over to the other door here. Cool. Place to hang your stuff. Nice. Wow. Oh, I just can't get over this hardware. So good. And then flipping over here. This is going to be the bathroom, which I think is pretty amazing. I'm going to squeeze around here. Whoa. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing that this little camper has a bathroom in it like this. I can't get over how well all the doors open. Man, great. Look at this bathroom. But when it's curved like that, it is makes a lot more room in here. Huh. Wet bath. Look at that toilet, I'm sure. It's a plastic toilet. Huh. There's your drain. Still looks great in here. And there's your sink. Yeah, it's plastic still. You got a little space in there. And look at this fixture. <laughs> I love this. Man, that is the old school air bro. Nice. And to be so small, look at this. It even has a medicine cabinet in it. And I gotta show you this if I can get to it. I love old tech, of course. But look at this old tech. Look at this. Man, it doesn't get any better than that. And it works every single time. And this opens up. Got your medicine cabinet in there. Wow. Man, I'm really, really impressed here. And I noticed above the door, it's got this low tech vent. Runs across the top. Right there, keep that humidity out of that bathroom. Nice. Inside your door, you get your switches, but those are for the outdoor. I don't know. Now. And there's a shot. Look at how beautiful this is. How big and spacious this is. Amazing. Huh. If I was going to have a truck camper, of course I would have slides. <laughs> I'd have the best one made up and down, man, all the whole way, but. This thing is a massive inside. I'm really falling in love with this thing. Mm, so nice. Let me whip around the back. All this wood in here. It's the wood that makes it good. <laughs> Seinfeld, anybody? All right, guys. That's it, 1968 Avion. I'm loving it, man. Peace.